our way to the thrift store currently to get a new dining room table and chairs. Hopefully they have them. The ones that we have are... <coughs> you okay? The ones that we have are falling apart, the chairs, because like 90% of the stuff in our apartment, everything was given to us, which is fantastic when you're just starting out because it allows you to save money in other places. But when you get things that are used, there's going to be natural wear and tear on them. So the chairs, we have somehow managed to destroy in some way, which I don't understand how we did that. It's not like we, we can sit down violently or like jump on them, but basically you would be lucky if you didn't go one week without falling through a chair because the seat itself isn't actually attached and you just fall right through the frame. I do it all the time. So on our way to the thrift store we are. Hopefully we find something interesting, uh, something that we can use. Also, I'm going to turn this into a thrift haul because I haven't done one of those in a while and see what kind of clothes they have. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Probably best. You want me to be co-pilot because people are driving like weirdos? You want to, you wanted to get on um, Sunrise Highway. Because it's 112 you want to get off. It's a really good thrift store. So we don't make a left or right. No, not here, 112. We've just pulled up and it's gonna be really difficult fighting the urge to not run straight to the clothes and go to the furniture. Am I, um, you're not gonna let me do that, are you? Nope. No? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna look for a dining room table. Um, I'm not allowed to bring a camera in there, but um, you know, I'm captain, I don't give a fuck, so. Okay, so I did it once. Hmm. So the goal is chairs that come in fours. chairs so looks like I'm looking at close. Yay! I'm so bummed about not getting the table. We really need a table and chairs really 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 bad. In the 90s you saw a lot of these. A lot of bustiers and they were DIY'd in different ways. You'd put maybe a crucifix here, you'd embellish it in some way but always with like say a long skirt or even a petticoat. So these were very very much sought after because they were a good cheap alternative to a corset, which, are, you know, as you know, super expensive. $12.99, and the colors today are orange, and I think that is white with a brown stripe. I will probably be referring to that a thousand times because I will continually forget what the colors are. Um, $12.99. Even for a thrift store, it's a little bit steep, but I'm going to keep hold of this. Check out what I found. Baby doll dress. Bow in the front. And the ever-popular 90s square neckline. Actually, I think this is 90s by the looks of it. $3.99, half off. Lace back. I'm gonna put it against something. Look at that. Lace back with the bow. Definitely vintage. And $6.99, yay! So these are really cute right here. Got a nice buckle on them. A little scuff, but that's okay. Nothing that's not able to be fixed. They're $14.99. Um, minimal wear. They're a size eight and I'm a seven and a half, but I could always wear like, you know, chunky socks because why not? So these are a possibility. So I think these may be coming with. I'm gonna hold on to them though. What are these? Oh my God, they're rain boots. 
These are actually rain boots, but they're fun rain boots. So you know when you have to run out to the store and the weather's really crappy or it's snowing and you gotta put on like these really dumpy like snowshoes and you're like, okay, I look like an ass. Well, actually I don't because I literally will put on things like that and not care. But, that being said, you can put these on and still look pretty damn friggin' interesting. I like them. I definitely need a cart. I don't know if that one belongs to anybody, but it's going to be mine. I'm wondering what kind of nutcase I currently look like. Yes. Yep. Here's me. These are kind of cute. I can see these with fishnets. Huh. Or am I a giant? Hmm. I don't know, yes. We have black velvet skirt. Never really go wrong with a long skirt, I feel. Whoa! Party skirt, and it's all elasticated and everything. Ooh, isn't this kind of cute? What do you think of this? Right here. The skirt here. A line. Yeah, it could work. Yeah, you like it? $4.99. Everything I pick has a blue label. The color. This is pretty. Saks Fifth Avenue. No. Hey, I know the perfect pair of shoes for this. We have to unite them. We're gonna unite them and make them friends. Here you go. Now you're together. The cool thing about vintage 90s is that a lot of vintage 90s can really be gothed up and that's something we did a lot so we would come to the thrift stores and look for 90s from 50s, 60s, 70s with the right accessories and put together, you never knew the difference. Me too sometimes. Me too. Come home with me. It's a dragon! Yes, it's a fluffy dragon. Inspired by my 90s thrift haul, I decided to go with some 90s hair, and some things never change. There's always one side that just does not want to play by the rules. Isn't that the way things go? So I wanted to go through what I got. I got, let's see, we'll start with this. It's a really cute blazer. Velvet, crushed velvet, princess sleeves. As you can see, it has a lace back, but that's not the coolest part. See if I can put it against the white wall. It has sort of a tail coat going on with a little velvet bow. Another thing that I got is, I think I was name branding, which is probably not the best thing to do, but I figured one of you out there might really like this. Not really my taste. It is by Creepsville 666. It looks brand new, like it hasn't even been worn. As you can see, Creepsville. Oh, by the way, $6.99 for the jacket, and the Creepsville was also $6.99. So I think this more made me giggle than anything else. I'll shred up the back, do something to it. How much was that? Uh, $1.99. Everything was blue. I Everything I seemed to pick up had a blue tag on it. And the cool thing about that thrift store is they have all different color tags, and whatever tag day it is, they usually choose two colors. It's half off whatever that color is. So I would have spent, say, you know, for the $6.99, it would have been $3.99. But no, 
vintage red velvet, well, it's more of a burgundy velvet, crushed velvet tank top dress. Long. I would have lost my shit for this back in the day. Where were you? And the very last thing, and this was actually the color of the day, and I got it half off, so it's $3.99. My math sucks, so half of $3.99. The Telltale of the 90s square neckline. I think it has a bow. Yep. Underbust with a bow. It is empire waist. Really cute. And that's it. dress like and comment below and it's yours it's a size small